All right, guys, so here I am. I'm in ScreenFlow. So what I've done is I've recorded all of these different little clips, and I'm going to show you how I edit everything together and then how I, um, how I do the effects to it. So this is basically a couple of clips. Right now I have this one big long clip, and then I also have a couple of clips that I took from my iPhone, and that is uh, this one and this one are the ones that I took from my iPhone. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to work those in yet. What I do need to do is the first thing I want to do is whenever I edit the videos I try to find the spots either that I did it over again like there was a couple of spots here where I um, if I zoom in on this thing let's we're gonna look right here for a second but if I zoom in on this uh, by the way I'm in Final Cut Pro X uh, on the Mac I know not everybody has this, but pretty much any video editor is going to give you the same idea. You find the chunks you want to keep and you delete the ones you don't. So um, here is this entire video. I have one that I've already edited some stuff out so that as I view it, a lot of real estate agents, a lot of athletes, doctors, personal trainers, you get the idea. For the last couple months, now you see there was a big abrupt jump right there. And I'm going to show you how I fix that and what I do about that uh, a little later. But in the meantime, I'm going to shoot through this video right now, and I'm going to find the spots that I think make sense to break it up, basically. Like right now, I'm seeing this thing as I'm speaking. I don't even have to see the audio. I, you can sort of see the audio down here. You can see it dip out. But... I'm going to take this thing. I'll start recording right now, and I'm going to take you through my little tour of my gear, okay? So right now, I know that this is where my iPhone needs to start. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to do this in, in, uh, in Final Cut Pro yet, but I think I can just drag this thing down until it's the exact spot. And then I think I can just do this. From a distance, this is what my studio I don't know where I started recording it, but I think this is something All right, like so, this. From a distance. Okay, so right there you can hear where it says from a distance. So I'm going to actually shoot over here and try to sync this thing up the best I can. Um, I'm going to do that offline, so I'm going to sort this thing out and sync up my video the best way I know how. And I'll come back, and then I'll show you how I edit it, um, and how I edit all the different clips, and how I do some of the effects. Okay, so hold on tight. I'm going to pause you for a minute. Okay, so I've just uh, lined this up. Basically, this was my iPhone clip, and you saw before that I had this thing kind of ready to go. I had gotten up from my stool there, and now I've lined up my iPod, or All right, my so iPhone video. From a distance, this is what my as studio well looks like. It's my, really so studio. I say studio, here. but it's like a tripod with a camera and a, and a laptop. Um, so right now what you're seeing is I've turned the volume all the way down on the iPhone, which is here. If I turn it back up, you can hear it in stereo. But first of all, it's the camera. This is a DSLR. I'm not sure if you even hear that, but I'm hearing both, um, both versions of it. So I've layered this one, oops, this one clip over the other. I'm going to delete that all the way. And hopefully I didn't... First of all, it's up. the camera. This is a DSLR. So right now you're hearing my voice from the microphone, but seeing the video from the iPhone. So the microphone's actually going into this camera, but I'm recording on the iPhone. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to take you through this tour. I'm not going to this is actually a very these. fancy camera. Um, this is a. And now I'm going to go. Um, I'll probably layer on. I don't need to layer on this one. I can tack that in somewhere. But um, I, I'm going to find the spots where I were showing you how I was going to edit the video, and I'm going to show you how I edit it. Okay. So I'm going to pause you again. All right, we're back again. I have gone through the video now, and as you can see, I've made a, a few cuts. You can see that uh, I've made a few, you know, distinct cuts to different sections. And I, I should qualify. I don't know much about Final Cut Pro. I know like three things, and that's all. I know when I hit the B key, it turns into a blade, and I can edit. I can clip this thing and cut it in half right there, and then I can make an effect to it. Um, I think with all video editors, if you cut a beginning and an end wherever you want an effect to be, that's a good sound strategy. 
So let me zoom this. I just kind of clicked. I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to hit the A key, and my little blade's going to turn to a, a selection again. But um, hopefully I can bang through this, and this isn't going to be like a 20-minute video. So here's my first chunk, which I haven't done much to. Hi, I'm Michael O'Neill. But what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to hit Control click and I'm going to do um, Add Cross Dissolve, which I could just do Command T. Um, I just want it at the beginning, so that way when I fade in or when I start, Hi, it's just going to fade O'Neil. in. So that's what that thing does. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm you gonna... get the idea. For the last couple months, I so right there you see there's a big jump. Oh, I got a helicopter overhead. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause you guys. That's the perils of working outside is that um, I get road noise and mechanics and helicopters. Anyway, you can see right here, this is a perfect spot for me to show you a little trick. So if I go like this, you'll see there's a big there's, jump. You get the idea. For the last couple months. You see how like that jumped right there when I say for the last couple months? The idea. For the last couple. What I like to do there is I'll, that's, that's a perfect spot to put an edit for me. So what I might do is um, I'll probably go to, let's see, that's about 20 seconds long. I don't like to make my cuts last like a ton. So let's see where we are here. I might make, make one With my one iPhone. Um, in fact, I think I can do it while I'm live here, which will be kind of cool. Check this out. All right, so right there, there was kind of a good pause. I'm going to hit my little blade. I'm going to cut the sucker in half. And now I have that one clip selected. Just that one chunk. I'm going to take this down a little bit. You can see this one chunk is collected. I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip, just the very beginning. I'm going to go up here to my little um, video, audio, blah, blah, blah. And one of the things I can do is I can hit transform. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this thing and I'm going to zoom. I'm going to click a little keyframe and I'm going to scale this thing up like this. I'm going to move it down a little bit because I want to do this right here. I'm going to move that down right there. I'm going to see how this looks. So now I basically just click this little button. I don't even know what this thing does, but I know that when I click it, I can move the whole frame around. And then I, I click scale. So I just made it a little bit bigger so that I zoomed on one side of the page. So see how this thing looks. Trainers, you get the idea. For the last couple months, I've been working on a training for Udemy, and I posted a little demo video yesterday because I wanted to test out this setup. I wanted to test out my camera. This feels a little tight to me right now. I want it to be not quite this tight because I want to do a little bit with my phone. So I'm going to dial it down a little, and I'm going to move it back. That way I think you can see my phone. So let's try that one. You get the idea. For the last couple months, I've been working go. on a training for you to me, and I posted a little demo. All right, so now that, that looks kind of cool, and I'm going to go back to here, see what this looks like at the end. Cool. Check this out. So, I'm going to show you how this works. Can I do this? Is there any way I can do this? I think I can do this. I'm going to totally try to do this, and we'll see. And I'll just cut it in. We'll see how cool technology is. So, I'm just... All right, so... From a distance, this is what my studio looks like. Okay, it's this is really the overlay studio. Right I say here. studio, but it's like a tripod the with a camera my, and, a, um, and a laptop. Um, but first of all, let me turn this down a little bit. This is the overlay of my um, my other video. This is the video I shot with my iPhone, and this looks fine. I'm not worried about this at all. It jumps right in. It's totally cool. So I'm going to shoot back to this part again and see what the transition looks like between the two. All right. So that video is done. So here's the other part. It's okay. I don't mind that I'm sitting and moving. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go to the next section. Now I've labeled these already. Like so I've labeled this thing zoom and labeled this one pan. Uh, I need to move that volume right back to where it was. I don't want the volume to be messed up. So there we go. All right. So this one says zoom. So I, that means I did something. And this is, the, this is the part where I like to just take this whole thing and... I like to really zoom so it's tight. I need to move my little guy here, right here. And I want to be right in the middle. And I've only done that because I'm able to, because I zoomed it so far that I can be in the middle. 
So now here's what this looks like. You can zoom it in Final Cut Pro. And I can show you what that looks like. So right now you're probably seeing a video of me editing this very part. So, you are. so I'll talk you through that part when I do it. But, but right now what I want to do is I want to zoom really big. And this way you can totally see, oh my gosh, this is what I'm talking about right now. The other All right, so that's cool. I probably could have zoomed it right at the end there, but um, I like it where it is. I'm not too worried about it. This one I like too. This is the pan, and I think this is kind of cool. You have to do both at the same time. So for this one, we need to make a couple of keyframes, right? So I'm going to go to the beginning of this clip, and I'm going to scale it again. I'm going to put a little keyframe there. I'm going to hit this little plus sign, and I'm going to scale it until I'm all the way on this side. Ooh, that's a great visual of me right there. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. That's a handsome devil. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to, where it says position, I'm going to put a little keyframe there. So now I have a position at, at um, a keyframe at position and scale. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other end, which is over here. And you see it's in the same exact spot. And I'm going to put another keyframe and another keyframe. But when I do that, I'm going to move myself over directly straight. So now I've put two keyframes, and I've moved myself really until I'm about in the middle. Just about like that. So what happens now is, this is kind of a camera pan. So the other thing I'm I like talking, to do is a slow it, pan yeah, from one side to the other. Moving. So you'll notice that as I'm having this conversation, you'll see that this is slowly moving over, which I think is a super cool effect. It just gives you a little bit of subtlety, a little bit of movement in the video. I'm gonna, is going to be... All right, so there's that part. And then finally, my, one of my favorite shots to do, um, same drill. We, we pretty much do this for all of these things, where I scale it a little bit, just a little this time. And I'm just going to move myself over here. This is one of my favorite shots. And this Go way, from kind of a mid-cut. So now this is a little bit closer. It. Now I'm pinned all the way up to the left side of the What's screen. Cool about this is that I think if I really want to, I'm not really positive how to do this, um, but I love the idea of being able to just put like a text box. But right here, if I want to, I can put links or whatever. I'm not sure if I can even do that right now, but I'll try. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ferris wheel, highlight. Can I just do this? Will it just let me go over the top? No, probably not. You can see it. You can see I'm not like a super expert at this. All right, I'm gonna cancel that. Um, I would probably do this actually in. Uh, this would be something you do probably in Adobe uh, After Effects, or um, you can actually use ScreenFlow for this. The ScreenFlow app could could work great for this. Maybe I'll go back and do it in that actually. Um, anyway, so here's my little mid cut. Pinned all the way up cool. to the left side. Perfect. This is the regular shot that I'm gonna leave, and then this one. I'm on purpose, I'm going to put something I would never put in one of these things, which is, let's see, some. Cr I want to do like some crazy effect. Where are they? All my effects. Here they are. Um, let's do, let's do all here. Oh, these are cross dissolves, excuse me. I'm in the wrong world here. And see, I've lost myself. There we go. Here's my video's effects. So we could do 50s TV here. <laughs> but we could do noise. But, I could do black oh. and white. I don't want that. I want something crazy right here, like desert glare or something nuts. Kaleidoscope. Here we go. This is like going to be the weirdest one. Or maybe Kyle. No, no, I read it. But it actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? night vision there there we go we'll make this one night vision so people can see how not to do effects. Don't just do anything you know like oh, which was so don't over edit but when you're talking be conscious all right so there you go there's that part um anyway so about what i marketing have here, your i'll do this and then i'll do a little bit of cross dissolve at the end of this and uh add a cross dissolve right here 
And then at the very end, a lot of times I like to throw like a little call to action. And I'll have a, um, I'll do the basic title and I'll put it right about here. Sorry, there's people making a lot of noise right around the corner here. So, and I'll say, uh, check out it's about social.com and that's all I don't have to make anything too fancy here but I'll shorten that up a little bit and that's perfect alright hang on one second for me alright so the final piece of this is um, somebody was asking me about some music and um, I won't have a huge amount of time to put a lot of music in here but one of the things we have are able to do is within at least within Final Cut Pro we can add little loops and often what I can do is just find a loop that I dig and I can just play it I don't really dig that <laughs> turn this down a little bit all right so it's kind of groovy and all I have to do is just drag this onto the uh, timeline here. And then all I do typically is just repeat it. Um, I know there's a better way to do this, and I'm sure I can help you know people, but, but um, what I generally do is just copy and or option drag this thing until it's exactly lined up. And, um, and then I just keep doing that until I have enough to... Uh, to go all the way across and I, I'm certain there's a better way to do this um, I would like to just loop it but someone knows more about this than I do I'm sure so anyway so I basically line this thing up until it's all right and then as I go through my video you can see I'm Michael O'Neill and I run a company called It's About Social. So, My company focuses like on this. any company where the person is essentially the I business. Can, I work with a lot of people in the multi-level marketing world, the network marketing world, a lot of real estate agents, a, a lot of athletes, doctors, personal trainers. You get the idea. For the last couple of months, I've been working on a training for you to me. And, so I post, is. and I run a company called It's About Social. Right. So I'll, I'll do some final touches on this and then... Um, I will uh, save it and upload it, and then I will process the screencast video and upload that too. So I hope you got something out of this. Uh, it was kind of longer than I thought. It was uh, 17 minutes. Jeez. So anyway, yeah, you guys enjoy, and uh, we'll see you next time, okay? All right.